in a liberation um, framework, you have a very different way you draw the lines around how you understand what you're doing, which is to change the world. If we shift and build a movement of the places that are the most, are considered the most vulnerable, but w which we know are the most commonplace of poor and working class queer communities, if more and more of those people are involved in the kind of activism that we do, the social justice agenda that we have, we'll shift that agenda fundamentally. The priorities will then come from those communities. They won't be a, a tag on, they won't be a comma at the end of anybody's sentence, they'll be the centerpiece of how it is we organize the work. So liberation, I think, which is what started the LGBT movement's understanding of what its work was, has to reemerge as the way we now say, this is how we see change. We're pragmatic. We know that pragmatic, small things matter. But the big things, we're never giving up. Because those big things are really where we're headed. And that we don't compromise.